The proper refrigerant charge is necessary to ensure the equipment is operating at its maximum efficiency. Many problems occur if the system is undercharged or overcharged. An undercharge can cause excessive flash gas to enter the metering device creating low evaporator temperature, excessive superheat, underfed evaporators, and high compression ratios. An overcharge can cause the metering device to overfeed the evaporator and back up liquid refrigerant in the condenser. These conditions could create flood back, liquid slugging, high side pressure increase, loss of capacity, and high compression ratios. Even though R410A has a very small fractionation potential, it cannot be ignored completely when charging. To avoid fractionation, charging should be done with liquid R410A to maintain optimum system performance. To ensure that the proper blend composition is charged into the system, it is important that liquid only be removed from the charging cylinder. Some cylinders have dip tubes which allow liquid refrigerant to be removed from the cylinder when it is in the upright position. Cylinders without dip tubes have to be tipped upside down in order for liquid to be removed. Thank you.